I have two new packs that I'm adding into my rotation for this year. In this video, I'm going to give you all a first look at my new Nashville Pack Cutaway and my Nashville Pack Tiempo. Hey everyone, Knowledge here with Reach Your Summit. Thanks for joining me. I'm really excited to share this video with all of you. These are two packs that I've heard a lot of great things about. Had several hikers and friends of mine recommend this company. So I'm excited to see how they hold up. I've had a couple of trips in with each so far. So in this video, I'm going to give you a first look. I'm going to go over my general first impressions of each pack. And then toward the end of the video, I'm also going to show you everything that I was able to fit in the Nashville Pack Tiempo on a recent couple of days out on the Appalachian Trail. So let's get right into it. For frame of reference with this video, I am 5 foot 10. My torso length is right around 18 to 19 inches and I weigh right around 160 pounds. So the cutaway is Nashville Pack's flagship pack. Kicking things off with the specs, Nashville packs are a modular system, which is something that I found really appealing. So the pack body, you choose the size that you need based on the measurements with their website. And then you can also choose the length of straps along with the pack fabric, of course, and if you want any additional accessories with the pack. So I went with the Ultra Grid. This is a 210 denier recycled nylon fabric with a 1500 millimeter hydrostatic head for waterproofing with the PU film that's on the inside. Because this has a nylon face, the nylon will absorb a little bit of moisture, but in most varying and wet conditions, your stuff is going to stay relatively dry inside of the pack. I use a Nylofume pack liner, so this wasn't really a deal breaker for me. I always keep all of the stuff that I want to be completely dry at all times inside of that pack liner. I believe this pack also comes in ultra weave fabric, 100 and 200, DCF, and aerobic nylon, though I could be wrong with that last one. The pack also has some really nice, durable, stretchy mesh pockets on the outside and a not so stretchy mesh pocket. And then it uses Lycra mesh for the bottom pocket. The shoulder straps are just a mesh wrapped around itself. So there's not a lot of structure to it. Some button snaps for the pockets. And that's about it. I went with the 16 inch torso length and the total cost for the pack body was $205. On my scale, just the pack body on its own weighed 9.9 .9 ounces with all the pockets and the shot cord. And then moving on to the shoulder straps, I went with the 19 inch shoulder straps just because I like to have them down a little bit lower. Total cost for the shoulder straps was $105 and the total weight on my scale for the straps was right around five ounces. And then I bought the cutaway accessory pack. So that came with some compression straps, uh, hip belt and sternum straps. So let's get into the pack a little bit. This is a frameless, hip beltless pack. The total capacity for the 16 inch torso size that I went with is 26 liters for the main body up to right here where the shoulder straps are. And then you get an additional five liters with the rest of the fabric. So it brings it to 31 liters total. And then with all of the pockets, you get about an additional 10 liters. So overall, this is around a 41 liter pack. So the one that I went with on their website, this is the Ultra Grid Black Beauty. Really nice checkered black Ultra Grid fabric for the body. Some really nice white pockets on the outside. Mesh that doesn't stretch as much. This actually reminds me of the old mesh gym bags 
that are really, really solid. I don't see this ripping anytime soon. It has the purple Lycra bottom pocket. Kicking things off with the top. This has a really nice Y-style buckle compression system. It reminds me very similarly of what I have on my Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest pack. So you get a good amount of adjustability for compression, but I can also extend this if I wanna shove any clothing on the outside, a big bag of potato chips, or you can have a bear canister on the outside too. And this uses a roll top closure system. So you have a buckle at the top and two snap buttons. I love that the collar of this pack is nice and wide. It's very easy to get at things inside of the pack. I find some closure systems are going to be a little bit narrower, so it's a little more difficult to get inside of the pack. And for the shoulder straps, I chose to go with the static webbing at the top that has no stretch to it. And then the bottom, I went with an elastic strap to give it a little bit of stretch. So when I'm moving, I'm able to breathe a little bit better. Straps will stay secure to my body and the pack will stay with me. This pack does have the bottom pocket that other brands are using and that Palante had started with a lot of their packs. But this is a little different from all of the other brands. So the entry for this is right along the back side of the pack. So you can access everything in the pocket with either hand. This is something that I've actually been really enjoying compared to some other packs where it's just a side entry. I went with the 16 inch because I didn't like having the snack pocket on some of my other packs drop down a little bit lower. And I felt that if I went with the 18 inch for this pack, it would end up doing the same thing. So I've been really happy with the 16 inch so far. And I'm able to just grab things out with this hand. Pull things out with this hand. It's nice too, because for organization, I can separate things in here. I can have, you know, maybe my snacks and trash on one side and my wind shell on the other side and be able to just access those without having to dig everything out of the bottom pocket. Shoulder straps have tons of pockets too. This is something I wasn't too sure of at first, but I've been really happy with it. So I love having these shoulder strap pockets at the top. So up here, I usually have my headlamp or I'll have a quick dry towel. So right now, I have my Nightcore headlamp. So if I'm hiking all day and I'm getting into camp really late when it's starting to get dark, I have that easy to access so I don't have to worry about digging everything out of my pack just to find it. Then on the other side here, I have a mosquito head net. So on buggy days, really nice to have that up top and it cushions the shoulder a little bit. And down here, I usually have my phone and then down in this pocket, I'll have my water filter or I might have my in-reach. Down here, I have another pocket and then up here, I have some hand sanitizer, some insect repellent, uh, sunblock, things like that. So the bottle pockets are nice and easy to reach a lot easier than a lot of my other packs. So I've been really happy with this. So I can just continue hiking and get things out when I want to. This is also a continuous pocket. So I can go all the way in here and pull out my rain gear while I'm hiking. If I don't want it, I can just shove it right back in that pocket. My water bottle again, right there. It's been fantastic on the trail so far. Same with the other side. And got my wind pants here. So I've really been loving all of the quick, easy access to everything that I need when I'm out on the trail. The other thing that I really like about this pack is the whole continuous pocket, but there's another pocket that's sewn in at the very top kind of like a little shelf pocket. 
and it's got a little toggle closure up top here. So I can keep things separate that I might want during the day at some point. So in here I have my trowel, my stakes, my in-reach. So it's nice having some of those smaller items that might get kind of lost inside of the main body of the pack. Still easy to get at, but also keeping it separate from some of the larger stuff that I might want to get at, like my rain jacket or my water bottles. But it can go all the way down underneath behind this other pocket here. If I wanted a little bit more access to this pocket, this is attached to shock cord, so I can loosen it and open it up a bit more. Or if I wanna keep things more secure, I can pull these in and keep it nice and snug up against the pack so I don't have to worry about losing anything. And there's also some additional shock cord attachments on the outside here. There's also one down at the bottom here so I can store my trekking poles through here if I wanted to. And there's also some shock cord on the shoulder straps. I actually like using this to keep my water bottle secure when I'm using the Tiempo, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. Two other things with this pack, it does have a one inch webbing belt loops on each side. So I did buy the belt also, and I'll use that on trips where I might have a heavier weight that I'm carrying inside of this pack. Weight limit that's recommended for this pack is 25 pounds. There's also a bunch of loops around the perimeter of the pack. That is for a sleeping pad attachment system. So that's very similar to my Superior Wilderness Design Superior 35 that I had. And that was something that I did enjoy. So it's nice having these loops here and I can attach my Gossamer Gear sit pad on the back or a Z light. Just have it quick and easy to access when I'm taking breaks on the side of the trail without having to dig things out of my pack. It'll also give the pack a little bit of cushioning and a little bit of structure. The shoulder straps, I love. I've been a big fan of running vest style straps over the last couple of years now, and that's what made the Palante Joey one of my favorite packs. Just the weight distribution of the shoulder straps, the quick, easy access with the pockets. I just found it to be really, really comfortable. So. The fact that I can have these straps on any of the Nashville packs is something that really appealed to me. Now let's detach the shoulder straps. I'm gonna put them on the Tiempo, show you how that's done, and we'll go over the Tiempo very quickly. So on these packs, you have this daisy chain along the entire top, right around the collar of the pack, and the same with this one. So all I'm doing is I'm unthreading the webbing with each of these. And this is something that I really love about the packs too, is you get that customized fit. If I wanted to lengthen the straps, I can lengthen them. If I wanted to shorten them, I can shorten them. And then that just pulls right out. So that's the strap. And then I just feed it through. and feed it through. So just like that. And then I'm just going to send that through there. And then feed it through like that. The other nice thing about these straps is not only can you adjust the length of the strap and where you want it to sit, but you can also adjust the width of the strap and you can adjust the angle of the strap. So you get a really nice custom fit. And then I have the bottom here and I just feed this through. Just like that. Do the same with the other side really quick. So, the Nashville Pack Tiempo. The body of this pack uses a 100 denier Robic nylon. So it does have some waterproofing to it, but it just uses a PU coating. So with the Robic nylon, it can absorb water. It can actually carry the water weight and it can sag. 
if it gets too wet. So I'll still use a Nylofume pack liner inside of this. Along with the Robic nylon, this pack also has Lycra bottom pocket, similar to the material used with the cutaway. This is listed as 17 liters total. From the collar down, it's about 12 liters. I feel that this pack is actually maybe a little bit more closer to 20 liters. For the pack, I paid $140. I did not need to buy extra straps because I was able to just use the ones from the cutaway. I did buy an accessory kit for this. So I bought a compression strap for the top. I also bought some side compression straps in case I wanted to buckle the pack off on the sides. Total weight on my scale for the Tiempo body was right around 5.9 ounces. So I bought this pack more for trail running, for fast packing, for very short summer overnights and the cutaway I bought more for through hiking and for longer duration trips. The torso length on the Tiempo is also 16 inches. This one only comes in that one size, so you don't have the 18 or 20 inch options that you get with the cutaway. But you could choose the strap length. So I won't go into the straps again, just because I already did that with the cutaway, but let me show you the body of the pack. So the pack has a hole loop, just like the cutaway, so I can just easily pick it up off of the ground. The top compression strap that I have, this is just a single compression strap, more so I can just throw a jacket or my fleece on the outside of the pack. It does have the outer pocket, so you can throw some items inside of there. I have thrown snacks inside of here. I've also put my Montbell Tachyon wind jacket or my wind pants in this pocket here. Shock cord here, so I can hang my wet socks. And it also has generously sized pocket for the size of pack that it is. And it's not going to be a massive pocket like the cutaway has, but still you get a good amount of storage in here. I've been able to store quite a bit, probably more than you're supposed to inside of this pocket, but it does have some stretch to it. It's really nice. And I like that for some of those smaller items that I might want to get at, similar to what I had in the shelf pocket of the cutaway. So I can still access that top pocket too if I wanted to. The pack also has one inch webbing loops at the bottom so I can attach that same webbing belt that I bought with the cutaway. I can attach it to the Tiempo if I want to keep the pack a little bit more stable. If also if I have a longer water carry. I'm not going to be carrying a ton of weight with this pack. I'd say max probably around like 15 pounds and then you'll start feeling it a little bit more. I had a, a little less than that on a recent two day trip on the Appalachian Trail and I found it to be pretty comfortable. I had around 11 to 12 pounds, including all of my food and water. I did have the water bottle in the front pocket here, so it was easy for me to just stay hydrated while I was hiking. But there is a, a little port in the side here, so if you're using a bladder you can have the hose come out through here if that's something that you wanted to use with this pack with the shoulder straps i do also have some daisy chain webbing along both sides so i can adjust these straps if i wanted to based on where it's sitting compared to the cutaway so that's another nice part of the modular system and with the tiempo i can also store my trekking poles if i wanted to so I can attach that through there like that. And then grab this. And keep that through like that. It's a little weird, but it does the trick when you end up not needing your poles just for a, a very quick short scramble and then once you're back to it you can just quickly pull that out pull that out deploy and go so near the beginning of the video i mentioned that i would show you everything that i could fit inside of the tiempo 
and what I carried with me on the Appalachian Trail for a backpacking trip. So I'm going to share that with all of you now. So I'm just getting back from a couple of days out on the Appalachian Trail with the Nashville Pack Tiempo. This is a 17 liter frameless hip beltless pack. And I just wanted to show you everything that I brought with me on the AT and just how much you can fit inside of this tiny little pack. Kicking things off with the outer pockets here. Uh, quick dry multi-purpose towel. Going down from there, I have some insect repellent, some sunblock, some body glide, a small lip balm, some hand sani, and my compass. And then in the last pocket here, I have a 700 milliliter smart water bottle. This is what I use to stay hydrated Great quick access while I was moving the whole entire time worked out beautifully. And on the other shoulder strap at the top, I had my mosquito net. And then in this pocket here, I had my phone, which is an iPhone 13 Pro. And then in the bottom pocket, I have my little Rovi Vaughn uh, Aurora flashlight that I used for around camp and any night hiking. So that's it for the shoulder strap pockets. And there's a really nice bottom pocket here, which I had a lot of my snacks quick and easy to access. So I still have some trash in the bottom here, uh, but I have a couple of snacks left over also. Some fruit snacks, a Lara bar, and some fig bars. Then in the outer pocket here, I have my InReach Mini, and my bidet, my trowel. I have eight stakes in here. Uh, I used the tent for this trip just because I wanted to see how it carried in the pack. So I have those carbon fiber stakes. And I brought a one liter platypus soft bottle in case I needed extra water. The water was pretty reliable on the trail, so I didn't really need this too much. I only filled it up one time when I was at camp, so I had extra water with me throughout the night. And I brought my Sawyer Squeeze and I used that to treat water. And then I had my Arcteryx Gore-Tex Shake Dry rain jacket that I used as part of my sleep system at night. So that's it for all of the outer pockets. And we'll go into the main body of the pack. So I have my Senshi Designs Ren. I have my Tyvek footprint and my map. I have my tent. This is the Z-Pax Hexamid Solo Tent. I have my Diddy bag. So in here I have a Swiss Army multi-tool, Rology massage cork ball. I have uh, some charging cables. I have my first aid kit, my hygiene kit, some gear repair. And I have my wind pants. These are the Montbell Tachyon pants. I wore these around camp at night also. And I have my food bag. So I had a couple of days of food in there. Still have a little bit left. Then I have my bear bag hanging kit. And I also brought my 650 milliliter Tokes cook pot just to have some hot coffee in the morning along with my BRS stove. So the stove here little mini bic, and then I have the fuel. Then everything I wanted to keep dry, I had inside of a Nylofume pack liner. I had my enlightened equipment Enigma 30 degree quilt. And inside of the quilt, 
I brought a, a nice clean shirt to sleep in at night. My Sea to Summit Eros down pillow. And then I had a pair of merino wool and gingy toe socks. And then I brought my Thermarest Neo Air X Lite. This is the new version that's three inches in depth and the regular wide. And that's it. This pack carried beautifully. I was really happy with it. Really love the shoulder straps. And I look forward to using this a lot more. So overall, I've been really enjoying these packs so far. I don't have a lot of mileage with them yet, so this video was just a first look. I am looking forward at getting a lot more mileage with them this year and giving you a follow-up review on my experience with both of them. So far with the Tiempo, I have right around 30 miles in it backpacking and trail running and day hiking and with the cutaway i have right around 45 miles so far with backpacking and day hiking so i'm looking forward to sharing with all of you how both of these hold up over time they are made in the u.s they're made right in tennessee and the craftsmanship on them what i've noticed so far with first impressions has been excellent it's been really great quality and i'm looking forward to seeing how that craftsmanship holds up over time too so there you have it nashville pack cutaway and the nashville pack tiempo i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions on either one of these packs or anything else in my other videos please feel free to leave them in a comment below or you can contact me at reachyoursummit.net. If you found any value in this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel because I'm always adding new content to it. Greatly appreciate all of you subscribing and I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and sharing your comments and questions with me as well. Thank you again and until the next one, see you on the trail.